Hallelujah. All glory and honor to Jesus. Amen. When we open up our Bibles to James chapter 1 verse 2, he writes there, Count it all joy, my brothers, when you meet trials of various kinds. Then he goes in verse 3, he says, For you know that the testing of your faith produces steadfastness. And let steadfastness have its full effect that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. In verse 2 he says, Count it all joy, my brothers, when you meet trials. When we go through times of test and times of you know, trials and times of hardship, James is encouraging the church, encouraging Christians, count it all joy. Why should I count my trials and test a time of joy? It's not that you know, we are happy because none of us are happy when tests and trials come, right? When you're going through valley moments, when you're going through difficult times, it, those moments are not moments that bring a smile on our face. But James, when he writes, count it all joy is because when you look at the next verse, he says, because your faith is being tested. That means your faith is being revealed. When we go through testing times, what faith we have on the inside is made manifest on the outside. So what you believe what God has worked in you or what your convictions about, about your walk with God is made manifest in times of testing. So trials and tests are not bad for us who are connected to God. When you and I go through tough times, it's not to destroy us, but on the contrary, those tough times expose us for who we really are. You see, it's easy to say praise the Lord and hallelujah and sing and shout and you know rejoice when things are going good. But when things are shaken, that's when the real you and the real me is shown. Our testing times reveal who we really are. And that's what James writes. He says, for you know that the testing of your faith, that means your faith is tested in times of trials. So every time you go through difficult moments, remember, it's not to pull you down, but it's for you to see where you really stand in your faith in your walk with God. You see, normally speaking, when we say that we have faith, it's very easy to just speak it. But when you're put through the fire, that's when your faith is really manifested. So tough times only manifest or show forth what you really believe. Today, I want to challenge you. Don't be discouraged because of testings or trials, but know for sure it will reveal or it will show where you stand in your walk with God. He says, count it all joy. You know, one of the things that I tell people who are connected to me or who are close to me, I tell them is when you go through hard times, laugh it out. Why? Because you bring confusion in the enemy camp. But another reason why we laugh it out is because we know who our God is and that he's going to take us through it all. And another reason why we laugh it out is because through this time of testing, we are exposed for who we really are so that we can work on our walk with God. I want to challenge you today. If you, are, if you are a grumbling and complaining person, that only reveals that you need to let God work in you. You need to let God work in you. Joy, count it all joy when you go through trials. Count it all joy when you go through trials because your faith is tested. Your faith will be shown forth. What you really are on the inside is exposed. God bless you.